Nomad 2920 Bunkhouse Camper just came back here to Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, three, four years ago roughly, we last saw this camper, sold it to some folks. They had several years of use out of it and uh, decided to bring it back here when it was time to uh, move on to the next adventure. Um, nice little camper. I mean, great little bunkhouse for some folks, especially if you've never owned an RV and you know you're really looking to get started this is a great inexpensive way by comparison to a new RV to see if it's something you want to do if it's something that fits your lifestyle although I would say more than nine out of ten people once they do get out there and they get to just disconnect from the busy world that they live in every day they love it that's why you see so many of these things flying up and down the road every single day um, it's a uh, probably 29 30 foot box by the time you add in the tongue and the bumper, uh, you figure about an extra three to three and a half feet there. This is probably a 32 foot, 33 foot um, trailer from tip to tail. But again, you have about uh, 30 foot of living space inside of there. Handy little trick for you, and this is a guide, this is not a Bible. When you see your model number, in this case 2920, look at those first two digits, add about three and a half, and that'll get you pretty close to your true length. But again, it can vary by floor plan. Um, Central air, central heat naturally. Um, this is not made to be a Four Seasons coach, not by any stretch. However, in your general, um, uh, you know, spring, summer, fall camping season, this would be perfect for you. A couple things I spotted I really liked is we have the uh, oversized uh, Max Air fan or Creative Race fan, whichever name you prefer here. And uh, that's really slick because if you open all the windows and you're dry camping, you can run that fan on a 12 volt battery. You don't have to have sh um, normal park power to run the big nice air conditioner. So if you open all your windows, turn on that fan, you'll have a, a six mile an hour breeze always rolling through your trailer. Very nice and it, it just helps keep that edge off and keep it comfortable in here. Um, all of your doors are uh, a little bit nicer in here. You do have uh, hard, full hardwood doors in this. Um, you can see, uh, you know, these folks, they, they were camping ready and they knew what to do to take care of their things. Uh, uh, a, uh, you know, your little sink strainers are always a good indication, but right here, seeing all the owner's manuals, it's not a, again, it's not a Bible, it's a, it's not a rule, it's a guide, but when people tend to be willing to keep track of even their owner's manuals, in my experience, that means they tend to be more apt to keep track of everything in their trailer and keep it all in better shape. Um, back here, just to give you a quick tour of the bathroom. Bathroom areas are really tough to get with a still camera. You just can't really get good angles in here. And you can't get a feel for the, uh, the size and the scale and the scope of everything with them. Notice, too, that you do have uh, a power vent here in the bathroom as well as a skylight. Um, and your really cutthroat bargain brands, uh, you'll often run into, they'll try to cheat and put the vent above the shower as though that were a skylight. And, uh, you know, it's just, it doesn't work as well. Um, now, this bunkhouse is not friendly from a camera perspective. However, it's extremely friendly from a usage perspective. We are looking at two horizontally stacked bunks here. Um, the bottom bunk is bigger. And the reason I like to point that out is if you look at it from the top down, you can see how they're offset. That means that Junior can step here while they're climbing up to the top bunk. It makes it a lot easier for them. Um, we do have a little uh, TV stand here in the corner for their uh, you know, entertainment purposes. And you see there is a ladder that hooks onto this top bunk right here so that uh, the young kids can get up and down without mom and dad having to heave them or risk them falling while trying to climb up. They have extra headroom here, uh, like a headboard essentially for whatever knickknacks and bags and things they choose to bring with them. And we have extra wardrobe storage space back here, which most bunkhouses just simply don't have. So again, to, to walk in and look at it, this looks a little strange, but to actually camp in and use this floor plan, it's one of the better bunkhouse layouts that are out there. Um, you don't see them as often just because, again, looking at it, it looks a little strange. This is one of those proof is in the pudding kind of thing. If you try this camper on like a t-shirt and you're going to find that you really like how it fits. Um, the, uh, you see a big giant conventional TV in here that could always be swapped out for a flat screen at your discretion. And a thing I do want to point out is we do have sliding doors for both mom and dad as well as the bunkhouse. So everyone has nice privacy. Um, up here in mom and dad's room, we do have three big windows, which is nice, including a front window, which is hard to find anymore. 
Um, you know, if you uh, don't put a, a proper windshield uh, deflector on that, it is very inclined to uh, um, air pressure will wear out the seals and, and allow leaks, even though the sealant is good. And uh, that windshield goes a long way. Plus, you notice that we have the cloth day and night shades, two section shades in here, as you can see there. So at night, you can pull this down and just have total blackout privacy. And notice that, um, especially at this price point, it's unusual, but even the side boxes, the valances, and the lambrequins together mean nobody can see in here and you can block out every ounce of light. Then, during the day, we can still see out of the trailer, but they can't see in. So you keep your privacy without giving up the light during the day. That's the slick part. Um, give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Happy camping.